GraphTech Studio's library is a useful feature for collecting and storing designs, logos, and patterns that are commonly used in your designs. This will save you time in that instead of recreating these over and over again, they can be created once and then stored for using later in other designs. Even patterns that fill objects can be imported into the library. To get to the library, click on the Show Library Tool icon at the bottom of the drawing toolbar. Once selected, the preview area disappears and is replaced by the library, appearing with a new toolbar just above the library window. The library window is divided into two main panels. The left panel contains folders that categorize the library. The second panel is where we can actually view the artwork. Show All Designs, when selected, shows all the objects and patterns in the library. Any of these can then be placed in the preview area and used for new designs. The Patterns folder contains bitmaps and images used for filling objects. Patterns contained in this folder will also appear as part of the fill patterns. The Library folder contains both vector and bitmap designs. These objects can then be placed in the preview area as needed. The default folder holds the imported designs. This is where the designs are originally stored. In a moment, we'll show how folders can be added for better organization. In order to view the preview area and the library simultaneously, click on the Show Library and Preview Area tool icon at the bottom of the drawing toolbar. This will show the preview area next to the library. The benefit of this mode is that it allows the items in the library to be dragged and dropped right onto the preview area. To turn off the preview area, click on the tool icon below the library only tool icon. To show the preview area by itself, click on the show preview area tool icon just above the show library tool icon. There are two methods of adding designs to the library. The first is by saving the current design in the preview area to the library. This is simply done by clicking on the File pull-down menu and clicking Save to Library. This will open a window that prompts you for some information. The file name is the name or label for the design. Entering a keyword will help you find the object in the library later on. This is especially helpful when there are a large number of objects in the library and you can't remember the name of the object. Entering a keyword like text will narrow down the search for you. Description is a note describing the object or its purpose. Artist is the name of who designed the graphic. Category is what the design or object was originally intended for. Regular cut, print and cut, rhinestone pattern, sketch design, or 3D crafts. Once this information has been filled in, click OK. When this is done, the object shape or pattern is then placed in the imported design subfolder, which is located under the library folder. The second method drags files from an open folder directly into the library itself. This may require you to resize the file window and the GraphTech Studio window so that they are side by side. With the folder open, click on the design files to include as part of the library and drag the files to this window. Patterns are added in a similar fashion. Open the file folder where the patterns are located. In this case, we have a couple of bitmaps. In order to make them part of our patterns, Click, hold, and drag the bitmap to the pattern area here. Once objects are part of your library, they can be used by dragging them onto your design. First, let's open the library by clicking the library icon. Next, we'll set up the window so that we can see the preview drawing area. Now we can open up the import folder click and drag the design we'd like to use onto the preview area and then release the mouse. Patterns are used under the Pattern Fill icon tool. Click on this and the side panel will open up with options for adding a pattern fill. 
At the bottom of the side panel will be the custom patterns that were added in the library. To add a pattern fill to an object, select the shape to fill, and then click on a pattern. When your library starts to be filled, it will be necessary to organize it. As mentioned before, organizing the library is a matter of creating folders within the library. To create a folder, right-click on the library folder and click New Folder. Once the folder is created, we can immediately name it. Let's label it Client Logos. Let's create another folder and label it My Logos. Now that we have our two folders, we can start dragging the different library designs into the respective folders. This is just a simple example of how the library objects can be organized into categories. And this demonstrates how powerful having this library is when you have logos you need to use over and over again.